Hello friends, in this video, I'll teach you how to create a ping pong game using a Scratch 3.0. So let's get started. After selecting an empty project in Scratch, let's remove any sprite which you can see in this screen by clicking on the thrash icon. Once that is done, we'll click on the sprite and we'll select the ball. After doing that, in backdrop, we'll select the background. After selecting the background, we will go on the motion section and we will select the move block 10 steps. Once that is done, we will try to add another block which says if on edge then bounce and then from the control we will select the forever. So what this piece of code will do is every time whenever the ball hits the edge it will bounce back and that will go forever. So it will go from one edge to another edge and that will continue forever. Once this is done, we'll go on motion section and we will select another block which says point in direction. We'll change the direction to 45 degree and then we will add when the green flag is clicked. So once that is done, the ball will move on from one edge to another edge. Now we'll stop the game by clicking on the red button once that is done, what we'll do is we'll change the size of the ball. From 100, we'll change it to 70 and then again we'll click the green flag and the ball will bounce from one edge to another. Now we will add another sprite which is called a paddle. So we'll click choose a sprite and we will select from the search bar and type paddle and select the paddle. Once that is done, we will go on the control section and we'll select the forever block. Once that is done, we'll go to the motion section and we will add set x to minus 60. We'll replace that with the mouse movement. So we'll replace the value with the mouse x and we will add when green flag is clicked. So now we move the mouse and you can see the paddle moves along with the mouse. We will place the paddle where we want on the bottom of the game. See, again, this is how you code the paddle. So until now, we have added two sprites, one ball which bounces every time it touches the edges and the paddle which you can move along with the mouse. So every time you move the mouse, the paddle moves along with the mouse. But the problem right now is uh, the ball doesn't bounce back after touching the paddle. So we'll code for that. We'll go to the event section and select the forever. Then we'll select the if block from the event. And then we'll go in the sensing and we will add the another block seeing the touching and we will uh, select the paddle sprite. Once that is done, we will go to the motion section and we will add the turn 15 degrees block. In that, we will select the operator and we will add the pick random degrees between 170 to 190 degree. Once that is done, we will again go to the motion section and we will add the move 10 step block and we will change the value to the 15. Now we will go to the control section and then we will add the weight block and we will change that one second value to half a second. And then we will go in the event and we will add when the flag is clicked. Once you do that, let's move the mouse and you can see the ball is bouncing. So every time when it touches the paddle, the ball bounces. So we have successfully added the ball bounces every time it touches the paddle. But what if uh, it doesn't touches the paddle and it goes below. So in that case, uh, we need to stop the game. So we will code for that. Now we will add the sprite. We will search for line and we will select the line. And we will drag the line below the paddle. So when it touches that line, we will stop the game. We will go to the event section 
and select the forever block. Once that is done, we will add another block called if inside the event and from the sensing we will add the touching and we will select the ball. So every time whenever the ball touches the line, this particular code will get selected and the code inside that will get executed. Inside the control section, we will add stop all and then from event we will add when the green flag is clicked. Once we click the green flag, the ball touches the pedal and bounces it back. But if it doesn't touch the pedal and touches the line, it will stop. So now let's add the score in this game. So every time the ball touches the pedal, we will increment the score by 1 and we will stop the game when it touches the line. So now we will click the variable section and we will create a new variable by clicking on make a variable as a score and click on OK button. Once that is done, so you can see the score on the top left corner of this game. We will select the change my variable by 1 and from my variable we will change it to score. And we will also add one more variable which will set to 0 every time the game is start. Now we will click on the game. So the ball touches the red line and it stops and again we start the game. So now it touches the pedal. See, you can see the score is getting incremented. Every time it touches the pedal, it increments by one. And if it will touch the red line, it will stop the game. So this is how you create the ping pong game. I hope you guys have learned a lot and enjoyed watching this video. Thank you guys. I'll see you in the next video.